Hi, this is Rich the Engineer at Muni, BPA board member and Kentucky State Director, with this week's update on the fight for poker rights. If you recall last month at the House Financial Services hearing on the online poker issue, we actually saw an executive from Commerce Casino out in California show up to testify against our right to play. It seems he preferred to hold his options open to have a monopoly of online poker in the state of California, an in-state only model. Well, we here at the PPA disagree with this approach. We think the best approach for the player is to have a competitive environment where players have a choice of where they wish to play and where they see the opportunities for game selection and being able to play with opponents from across the country and across the world. Essentially, the greedy corporate interest here is seeking to take our rights away with the power of the federal government, and that's not liberty. So to preserve our rights across the nation, the Poker Players Alliance has started a drive to inform Americans of this action that was taken by Commerce Casino. We circulated an open letter. It was signed by over 100 poker professionals, including Howard Lederer, Greg Raymer, and all of your favorite players. We've put up a new website called Players Before Profits, where we've taken a moment to share this information so everybody can take a look, see the letter, have a chance to sign it yourself even. I urge everybody to visit the site, Players Before Profits, and just sign the letter. It uh, just takes a moment. This will tell Commerce that we demand that they stop fighting our rights just to preserve their own corporate interests. And it also tells politicians across America that we're a force here, that we're not going to do the old-style paradigm where poker comes in on a legally restricted basis in exchange for high taxes to be borne by the players. No. We're here for free competition and free enterprise. I support Commerce's right to offer online poker, but they should be willing to compete against the other sites that are out there. If they have a site that players would wish to patronize, they should be able to win that in the open competitive market, not have to seek that by restricting the rights of other sites to play. Not only that, when these guys went to Congress to testify against our right to play, they asked for stiff player penalties against players of unlicensed sites. So again, I encourage everybody to visit the site and let it be known that we support poker in all its forms, online, bricks and mortar, charity, home games, and let the players decide. That site again is playersbeforeprofits.com. Thank you very much.